Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com and today we're going to talk about narcissists and why they don't want to learn a better way to interact. Alright, so I've got some notes here right in front of me and it's about, okay, so I'm watching, I, well, how do I start? This is going to be a little difficult. Alright, so what, what, so why is it? that narcissists don't change okay it's probably that's probably the best way it's probably should be the title of this video why is it that narcissists don't change ultimately i tell you what it comes down to it comes down to two things number one they do not want to go into their emotional system and that's what in order to change to, to treat people like humans okay empathy uh, something in here is making me sneeze. I don't know if it's from the smoke outside. We've, I'm in the fire zone, by the way, up here in Northern California. And uh, so here's what it is. They don't want to go back into their emotional system, number one, because that's where their pain and suffering is. Now, the challenge, though, is that's where empathy comes from, is the right brain, the emotional processor. So if they're avoiding that, they're pretty screwed, okay? Now here's the problem with that. When they're in their left brain thinking, 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 that causes a tremendous amount of anxiety. But they don't want to leave it. It's an illusion. Here's what I mean. A Benev, uh, he was like that. Uh, he would think and think and think and think. And I would get him to calm down and just clear his mind, like totally stop. And that's what meditation is for, consciousness work, where there's no hmm, ting pong, ting pong, ting pong, ping pong, ping pong. All right, here's one of the red flags, by the way, uh, is they ping pong. They ping pong and they, they even do this a lot to you and they look at you and they, they, they look around and they, what they're trying to do, they're trying to connect energetically to your forehead or your ajna and they start jerking you around so you're ping ponging like them too because that's a technique to, to blind you. It's a distraction technique so they can do stuff behind the scenes to pull your strings, right? That's why that one book is called Who's Pulling Your Strings? It's manipulation, right? So if you got someone who's like, ha, 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 ping pong, ha, ping pong, and they kind of even sound like they ping pong around a lot, they look here, look at there, you know, look at you, look away. That's a ping pong technique, and I don't like it. So that's one of my my uh, boundaries, red flags. When if someone starts ping ponging, I'm, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. Excuse me. I have to cut that out. So why is it that narcissists don't want to change? Well, number one, they don't want to open up emotionally. So they're like, well, I'm not going there, so I'm going to have to figure something else out. So their whole thing is then, well, if I can't actually be empathetic and actually be genuine, I'm going to have to act, <laughs> right? They're going to have to fake everything. Now, I've never liked that phrase, fake it till you make it. Tony Robbins does say it a lot, but someone else on, on Facebook, it was a professional fighter. Uh, I think it was actually the owner of the IKF, Steve Fossum. He used to be a fighter. Or maybe it wasn't him, but maybe it was Danny Stell. But they posted, I think I reposted on my, my Facebook business page. But it's like, I never liked that phrase, fake it till you make it. It's more like, God, I forget what it was, but it's more like be real and do it until you get it. Something like that, right? But I understand Tony Robbins, because when he said that, I was like, I fucking hated that phrase. But what he means is you got to take on the persona and fully go into it. But, 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 a, but a narcissist won't hear that. See, Tony Robbins means like you need to take everything on emotionally and physically as if you're that person and you become that more and more and more. But the way narcissists take it is keep the mask on, you know, be up in your head. Don't ever come out. That That's not – that's when people say fake it till you make it, that's not what they mean. They mean you need to embody, which is a right brain thing. See – when I was younger, I couldn't figure out why was I always winning state championships and national rankings or titles and just constantly winning. And then I did really, really well in guitar and music and classical guitar and choir and art class and, and in writing. It's like It seemed like there was nothing I couldn't do. And I'll tell you what it was. And I figured it out probably in my late 20s or 30s was I was always an open-hearted person. Because there's no thinking there. It's all natural. I got And I got really good at boxing and kickboxing. Like super fast. And people are like, whoa, shit. In nine months, you went from this dude. Now you're competing with the best people in the class. I'm like, how are you doing that? And I was like, I just, I just, and I, I used to say, I just open my heart and I go for it. 
In other words, there's no brakes. The thinking is the brakes, like you got the brakes on, right? So Abena, I taught him this technique and I helped him energetically to ground himself, to ground himself. We did it enough times towards like, okay, now go do it on your own. You know, like I want you to do this every day when you wake up. So he came over here one day and he was just up in his head thinking and his nerves and he's uptight, he couldn't breathe very deep. And I'm like, dude, what, what's going on? I go, do, do your hot breathing, do your breathing techniques. Do everything that I taught you. He said, I don't really want it, Mike. I'm like, why? He's well, because I don't really like doing that. I'm like, why? He goes, because because on the other side, there's so much anxiety. And I, I'm looking I'm like a benefit. Where you're at is where the anxiety is. No, no, I go, I go, I go. Let me help you ground again, and then you'll t then we'll talk. So it took us a little while, tw probably 20, 30 minutes, and he got really <sighs> grounded, right? And he calmed down, and you could see his head was clear. I go, now how do you feel? It's like. I feel really good. I feel really calm. He goes, I, my mind, there's no thinking anymore. It's just clarity. And he goes, so is that anxiety? He goes, no, it's the opposite. He goes, why do you say that? I go, remember what you said when you first came in here? And I said, well, why don't you ground yourself? He goes, oh, I did, huh? He goes, wow. He goes, when you're on the other side, you really believe that over here is where the anxiety is. I'm like, no, it's in your thinking. He goes, man, that's a trip. I go, next time you get caught up in your thinking, remember that. Now here's the thing with a narcissist. In a million years, they're not going to open up. In a million years, they're not going to ground themselves emotionally. They just, they won't do it. And there's two reasons. Number one, they don't want to open up to their emotions because there's a lot of negative stuff going on in there. Like I said in my last couple of videos. Number two, they've developed an entire system that's built up this mask that they work every single day. Like, the, and the thing is, God, they have to remember, okay, what did I say to that person? And how did I act? And how did I say that? And, and then this person, what did I say? How did I say? Because they have to change it for each person because they change it for each person to match that person's values and beliefs and, and the way they are. Narcissists cannot stop fucking, they, man, I've been around enough to where David admitted to me, like, dude, I can't stop thinking. I can't fucking stop thinking. Jesus Christ, you know, Mike, you know, can you help me? I'm like, yeah, but they won't do it. You know, so basically what they end up asking for is the worship thing where like, oh, you're a great guy. People think you're great. Yeah, you're, you're awesome. You're doing great. And, uh, you know, it's like it's it's like their ego goes, oh, OK, cool. So, you know, am I cool now? Like, oh, yeah, everyone looks at you like you're totally cool. Dude, don't worry about it, bro. And and it's like and they they never ground. They never re, they never open up to it because they're like and they just won't. And now I'm going to leave that at that. So, number one, they don't want to go to the emotional system because they don't want to feel emotional pain. But the funny thing is that's where you heal your emotions. And number two, that's where you become emotionally grounded. And that's where you feel good, right? So number one, they're not going to open up emotionally. Number two, ever since they were a child, they're like, okay, well, how am I going to interact with people? Because I've never developed social skills and I, I'm not a genuine person. So it's all an act. It's all a facade and they got this mask on. And they have to remember everything they've did before, said to you before, and they, they, they make a lot of mistakes. And they've got a, now here's the thing, they've got a system behind that. Like, oh, okay, I got caught in a lie. Uh, sometimes if, if they can't bullshit their way out of it, they will literally exit stage left. They will literally walk out of the room. They'll either change the subject, walk out of the room, spill something, uh, say, hold on, you know, let's get back to the conversation. They'll, do, they'll, they'll just bullshit you, all right? And so, they don't want to change this entire system because it's like, well, I've got a package system that I use for everything now. That's a very left brain way of thinking. The left brain is all about systems and programs and, and, and they don't want to change them. And now here, ladies, this is why a lot of men, they get caught up in patterns. They do the same thing. The romance is the same thing every time again and again. And women complain, oh my God, really? The same flowers again? The same fucking place? The same fucking meal? Oh God, because it's easy. They're basically now. I'm not saying men in general are narcissists, but I am saying that uh, the left brain basically it it wants to function without actual thinking. Now, actual thinking is a right brain process because now you've got all these options and possibilities. Well, whenever I try to introduce this stuff to a narcissist, they're like, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. Oh no, I got my system down. I might add one little thing to it or change something, but that's it. The right brain is all about options and possibilities. Millions and millions of options and possibilities. 
The left brain is about being focused, narrow, and you can't see what's around you, so your awareness is gone. And it's about focusing on one thing at a time. They get overwhelmed very easily. And that's something that most people don't know because you're usually on the receiving end. Well, you start throwing it back, they get all confused and ah, and the brain starts spinning in circles because they're looking down this tube and they're trying to look at all these different things instead of just opening up and seeing the big picture all at once. They don't have that ability. And they and if, even if they did, they won't do it. Okay? So um, here's, the, here's the third reason. They're just lazy mentally. They just, they don't want to put effort into it. They're just like, well, this is the easy way. But here's the delusion. Is it really? So they want to have long-term friendships with people because that's one of the things they say. They try to keep you around and they use all these negative tools to keep you around. And you and, and people, the majority of people end up leaving, uh, usually a wife or maybe a husband or a boyfriend or girlfriend, they may stay for years, you know, even eight years or tw- I've heard 25 years and they finally go, I'm done. I, you know, sadly, now they're 45, 50, 55 years old and they've spent 20, 30 years with this person and they are finally like, I can't take it anymore. So they might have that one person that just stays in for the long haul because of their religion says, once you're married, that's it. And I'll tell you what, I've always been like that until this whole narcissist thing exploded in my face and I saw it. And I will tell you what, I don't support marriage when it comes to someone being narcissistically abused. Fuck no. And that kind of shocked me when I realized that. So there, let's get back to the whole thing about narcissists, about being lazy. <sighs> Is they don't want to open up out of fear of feeling emotions and, and pain and suffering. Number two, they have an entire system that you're asking them to let go of. Because my, my system that I teach men, it's actually not a system. It's the opposite system. It's just open awareness and seeing things for the way they are, being in the present moment, and communicating the right brain language, and understanding women from the right brain, right? They don't want to do it. <laughs> so that's kind of, it's not kind of, it's a safety valve. So when a narcissist comes to my course, it doesn't work for them. Because they won't, they won't do the core pieces that you need to do in order to make it work. You have to open up to the right brain, which means you got to be internal and open-hearted and emotionally open. So I have had narcissists try to fake it and try to bullshit me. And say, oh, I'll totally do it. And like, oh, really? Then why isn't it working? If you're doing it the right way, it would totally work. They just don't want to do it. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this. Hey, I'll see you guys soon. God bless you and peace out. Okay.